guys, it is day 12. I know I took a few days off. I have some family here visiting from Wisconsin, so I've been spending time with them. Um, but I'm back, and today I'm working on a really awesome piece um, by Benjamin Taylor uh, called Drum and Bass Clarinet. Um, it is for solo bass clarinet and an electronics accompaniment. And the piece is based on drum and bass music, so like very driving club music. Um, it's very fun to play. Um, it is also shreddingly fast. Um, the goal tempo is quarter equals 170, and that's the tempo that the um, electronics track goes at. So in order to put those two together without needing to manipulate the speed of the accompaniment, I'm aiming for 170 right now. Most of it is there or very close. Um, there are just a few sections that I really wanted to take apart today and work on slowly. I know none of my students like to hear it, and I certainly didn't like to hear it when I was a student, but if you can't play it slow, you can't play it fast. Um, so today I'm working very slowly on um, a section that is very fast arpeggiations that require a lot of the really low pinkies on the bass clarinet. So I have very small hands, so this is already a bit of a challenge. So I'm working through just one measure of this today, because the pattern repeats quite a lot, so I'm isolating just a single measure of this pattern, and trying to find the most efficient way for myself to do this. I want to really streamline it so that as I pick up the tempo, it is relatively easy. So this is the measure that we're looking at. It starts on a low D. I'm going to try it both ways, starting with my left pinky down for the low D and then playing C at the top with my right. And then I'm going to switch and try playing low D on my right and then that C in the staff on my left. I'm also going to play around with what fingers I can leave down during this arpeggio to make things a little easier. <laughs> I discovered that I can leave the pinky D key down as I'm going up to the A, and I also discovered I can leave fingers 1 and 2 on my right hand down for actually this entire figure. The D is maybe a little muted sounding, but it's going to go by so quickly at 170 that it really won't detract from it. So ultimately right now I've found that taking the D with my left pinky is slightly easier. Um, especially with the discovery that I can leave my right two fingers down um, pretty much through this whole passage. Uh, then I can get to C on the right. In measure 73 specifically, it doesn't matter terribly, but in some figures that happened before and later, I'll, I would need to be alternating my pinkies, and so I want to just keep it consistent throughout this whole section because it's less to think about. Alright, well I'm going to keep working on this slowly. I'm hoping that sometime in the near future I'll be able to post a video of this on the channel so you can see it. If you get a second, have a look at some of Ben Taylor's other music. Challenging, very fun to play. A lot of it draws on funk and popular dance styles, so it's just, it's really enjoyable music. Uh, check it out if you get a chance. Mm -hmm. 